show you the work of Time Units here at Kingston University. We've been looking at Peckham, and more specifically, we've been looking at shopping in Peckham. The situation has changed. There's, there's probably not going to be a huge raft of uh, government funding. So we, although the work you're going to see is definitely blue skies thinking, it's untrammeled, they'll have to do whatever they like. What if a new supermarket, say Lidl, Lidl's here already, but what if someone like Lidl wanted to build a supermarket, how could they do it in Peckham in a way that made the city really good? This was Peckham in the 1930s, so at one time Rye Lane, you probably know, was very, very successful high street, the second most profitable high street in London, I think, called the Golden Mile. So there it is, nice and busy. This is Rye Lane, this is Rye Lane, and um, you don't see it in detail, if you know it, you know it's a long, skinny strip. <coughs> one aspect is broadening the kind of offer. So you can go up and down Rye Lane, but actually, there are many, um, and this is the kind of maps we draw where you can you draw the map of where you can walk to. We like looking at um, successful places and trying to use whatever we can learn from those. So this is Venice, and uh, we all went to Venice, and actually there's a surprising parallel between Venice and Peckham. Uh, I'll have to work with you on that one. Uh, this is Kariaku Market in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Where there's a huge concrete market and a bloody busy shopping market, uh, shopping street outside of it. So we like kind of busy sociable spaces and we like to find out how we can make places busy and sociable. You can't force people to come out for shopping, but you can create the right conditions. And what we do find in Peckham, this is um, just off Schumert, um, Schumert Road. Um, one of my students found this space. I didn't, I've lived here for 15 years, I didn't even know this space. And this is one of a number of kind of little pocket spaces off of Rye Lane that offer enormous potential. Here's Peckham Square. Uh, and another issue is kind of density. Okay, with, as Michael said, we've got this long skinny shopping street, houses either side, can't sprawl out that way very much. So maybe we maybe we don't want to go up too high, don't know, but we can densify. A sense of containment and sense of density that you find kind of in Venice. Uh, in you know, maybe we could be getting more in. So this is this is one scheme where Nora just said, right, I'm going to take this square and I'm going to flood it full of stuff. Okay, I'll let warn you some of this is kind of uh, beautiful drawings, letting more market in, in, um, in the city and seeing what would happen if you if you inserted that into Peckham. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. um, and there it is, in between the weather spoons and, and so um, we use these ways of testing old buildings to just get in and provoke ourselves to think, oh, this could be great, this could be great. This person has drawn all the places they can walk. They can walk up here, they can walk up there, and you can see it's a bit sort of weedy. If this was a plant, you wouldn't say it was bushy and healthy, it's just little strips running off. And there, you know, what if this bit of Burlington Arcade was to appear in? There are still existing the remnants of old arcades that were once grand arcades in the 1930s. So this isn't quite as far-fetched as you might think. Another pocket that exists, but maybe isn't doing as much as it could, is the end of Holly Grove. So we've got the station in there to the right, and we've got the entrance to Peckham, uh, the Covered Market on the left. And it's sort of green, it's got trees, but it's got amazing potential. So there it is in plan. See the red strip of kind of Holly Grove going along, but it's not all about great big visions. Some of it's about paving slabs and potholes, and some of it's just about control. And this is a sort of familiar site, and sometimes it's about getting a bit of control over that. There are some amazing details to be found in Peckham. Some people might just walk past the place, this scruffy but you look up and you find these beautiful details. And so uh, this student's working on taking those details and making a paving. This illustrates a kind of key problem that Lidl's great, uh, really useful, it's a car park, but you can't get to Rye Lane from there. Uh, this is Rye Lane. But if you want to go to Lidl, you have to go all the way down and all the way around. And I know there's a kind of raft of difficulties why that's difficult to achieve. But we can set up kind of ambitions. I mean, saying, we're going to put a little street through there. And so we look at other streets we know of that connect places to each other. This is Sicilian Avenue, off of Kingsway. And we say, 
This is just a connecting street, but it's not just a pokey alleyway. It's a really beautiful street. Um, but you can see it's all really low density stuff. Scope for this shop here to kind of open itself up a bit. I find it wonderfully entertaining because you can stand there and watch well-being happening um, <coughs> down, in the, down in the yard there. And it's, it's being used, there's no doubt about it, it's not completely derelict or neglected or something, but it's, it's a huge area of land and it's got great potential. We were speculating about a huge, great, great structure of hammerbeam roofs lining it all and making a huge, I mean, our brief was to say, how do you make a big, beautiful supermarket? So we're talking about big spaces. 